And welcome back. Do we find out if Snake lives? Maybe. Back welcome to, to what? Recollection. Huh? What is this? I just said it. No. Welcome back to the recollection. The what? Of what? Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. There you go. Which episode is this? Five? Thank you for pulling your substantial weight. You son of a bitch, go fuck yourself. <laughs> yes, Snake makes it because I hit the restart mission button, so fuck you. Go fuck yourself, ice hole. Fuck you. Fucking, fuck fucking, fucking, fucking fuck. Okay, so we have to restart the mission because we got shot in the fucking in the gut with a shotgun last time. Point blank. Point Killed blank. me real good. Real if I had, good. If I'd had my rations equipped, we would have been fine. But you didn't. Because you're slow. Oh. oh, God, there's a man. Did you see him? Did you see him? Or not? There's no man that was anymore. Cool. What was that? The fucking. He just dropped down. Wait, you can Fulton inside a building? What the fuck? Yeah, it's not perfect. But what are you going to do? You have to be able to collect guys somehow, and that's. That's how they decided to. to to justify it. It's just you do it anywhere. It happens. Shut up. Can you do that in the? No, you have to take him outside. Huh. I shot him in the back and that knocked him down. That Did he die? That seems a little... No. It's a tranquilizer dart. But that's... Did he die from the fall? No, he's he's still up there. Did he fall off the ladder? No, he's up there. I don't believe but you. That just, feels, that just feels a little suspect. <laughs> to be perfectly honest. Like, I hit him in the back. I didn't even get the, the experience points for hitting him in the face holes. Glitch. I don't know if it's a glitch. Alright, is there anything back there? No, there is not. Pretty quiet, I bet. Oh, nope, there's a dude right there. There's a man's ass. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> but now that man is gone. So what's the mission for this one? What are we doing? Uh, we've got to take some C4 to blow up a uh, barrier on a bridge so that we can get to the place where the nukes went. Wait a minute. Won't that blow up the bridge? Yeah, yeah, if you could shut up. Yeah. <laughs> not Just saying. Not really. I mean, C4 is powerful, but it's not that powerful. Mm. I mean, it's not like a barrel in RE6. <laughs> hey, look, there's more items here. Ba-boom. So last we left Snake, he single-handedly took down a tank, head west, and you'll go straight to the prison camp booth. Do you want to go to the prison camp? Yeah, we have to cut through there to get to the bridge, Yuru. See, it's up there. Huh. Up there! Al dia los despiertos. Welcome to, uh... Bad Spanish reading simulator 2016. I was going to say welcome to Bad Spanish reading simulator. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Did you see the man? There's a man's ass. Well, there, there were. Hey. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Yeah. So many people got to be stolen. So notice these guys have. Oh, God. Okay. I'm holding him up. Shoot him in the face. Shoot him in the face. Oh shit, it bounced off of his something. Helmet. Wonder, can I flip Probably. them like this? Yeah, I can. So all you gotta do is knock them down and freeze them, and then. Yeah. Freeze them. So I've gotta get through over there, which means I've gotta use C4 on that wall there. Oh god. First equip your C4. You can't what? No. 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 That was weird. Well, like, I, I, I went up there to hold him up, and it didn't work the way I expected it to. Uh-huh. But I'm, I don't exactly Once know what I'm doing. Oh, that's where you're supposed to put it? To it. it Boom! Run away! Run. Men heard the explosion. They're coming for my goodies. Coming for that ass. Oh, I, I wouldn't go that far, but okay. Yep. But here we are, we're continuing on looking for these damn nukes at the behest of the Russians. Where are the nukes? Where are you hiding the nukes? Okay, bad man. <laughs> bad man? Yes. <laughs> I like it. Please tell me you know what I'm referring to when I say bad man. No. What? 
You've never nope. seen the Batman sketches? Nope. Really? Oh wait, is that the is that the one where um one of them's like he shoots him and then don't worry, he's just going to sleep. No. Shoots him with a gun. It's the Batman spoof. Where Batman's yeah. a flaming retard. Yeah. The one where he's talking to where... Razal Ghoul's daughter and he keeps talking he, about how he's yeah. he banged the shit out of her one time. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Oh, I haven't seen the gun one. Oh man. That's the only one I've seen. Well, that one in the Joe, I think it was the, like the, the not the Joe, but the Riddler one. Is she with you right now? No, Have I seen, the, yeah, I think I've seen that one, but that one, I don't think he, did he ever sh actually shoot anybody? Yeah, because then he says, that kills people, and he's like, no, they're just going to sleep. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen any of those. Shut up. Bad man. Fuck off. So Speaking of Batman, did you see that uh, Telltale is making a Batman game? I did see that. I hope they don't fuck it up. I hope they do fuck it up. I hope there's always an option that is just kill him, use the gun. Use the gun. And I hope there's always a button that just makes him scream, My parents! No, because if you think about it, Batman, he's... I mean, granted, he's got a moral gray area he works in, and he kills people all the time, but his whole moral code is, I don't kill people, even though he's killed, like, hundreds of people. So how yeah. funny would it be if you could play through the entire game just murdering the shit out of everybody? I don't think they'd let that happen, though. Oh, come on. They, you've got to be able to do something like that. I don't think Warner Brothers would actually let him do that. No, they... No. Just saying You've got you've got to be able to do something. You want like to? That. I know you want to, but who's the fucking people in charge of Warner Brother or fucking Batman? Warner Brothers, right? Well, what's the what's the point? What's the damn point? Hey, look, I can do a silenced hand pistol. Pistol, hand pistol, hand job, silenced ham hand job. sandwich job pistol. What's the point of playing a Batman game if you can't not Batman it up? Batman doesn't kill though. But he does! But he doesn't. Like, every ten issues of the comic books, he murders the shit out of everybody. That's the difference between the comic books. You're not doing anything based off the comic books. Well, I don't give a shit. I'm inside the crater base. I'm north of the village. Shut fat face. Mert Derman! Oh. <laughs> He's a nice guy. He yelled at that reporter because that reporter called his mom stupid or something. Yeah, I would have done the same damn thing. Agree. Actually, no, I probably would have socked his ass. Matt Damon? No, 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 the reporter. Oh. God damn it, what's wrong with you? No, it was a chick. Otherwise, he probably would have slapped her around a bit. Probably. I mean, if it was a dude, he would have. I mean, he's not Sean Connery. He's not going around slapping <laughs> bitches up. <laughs> I still can't believe that. <laughs> How can you not believe that? Oh, that is so amazing. That's classic Sean Connery. Sometimes <laughs> like, these fucking women, you just gotta, you just gotta you hit them. You just gotta you just teach them a fucking lesson. Right across the face. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put them in their place. <laughs> oh, man. Such a great actor. <laughs> Throws so down the hose up. What? I just, <laughs> Sean connery <-ing> it. <laughs> Alright, I shot that man. No, let me go over the edge. Why can't you I go can't, over the edge you can't here? Can't go over the edge. Living on the edge of glory <laughs> and a happy little bit in the memory. What? I don't know. I don't know the Just words. That. Welcome to Bad Karaoke Singing 2016 Simulator. We need to do a karaoke video. You need to drag your oh ass out here, and we need to go to one of the Japan towns. In like LA or something, and do karaoke. And record it. Yes. How the fuck are you gonna record it? Sing them '80s hits with I don't know. Oh, those super happy J-pop songs that you hate so much. Oh my god, that would be amazing. <laughs> oh, somebody just saw his friend go down. We have a situation. No, 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 no. We don't need backup. No. Throw them over the edge quickly. No. Do it. I need them. Do it! For science. Dude, you, oh, you, shit! You've recovered, like, so many guys, it's just ridiculous. Well, I need more, because I need more people working in my mess hall. 
I need more people making coffee. How about you get more money first? This whole thing's gonna fall apart. Fuck money. You need money. Fuck money, get bitches. Amanda and Chico. Oh, Both on Amanda, the Amanda, yes. Pause, possibly. Chico, no. Why not? Because he's a dude. You're being... You're you're ruining your op... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about here. <laughs> well, welcome to Confused Sexuality Simulator 2016. You, you, you... <laughs> You need to go to prison. You need to have a heart to heart with Jared. He will he will learn you good on them little boys or whatever. Give me some I don't references. Know. Can I give you some references for? No, who? maybe give he give me some reference. Shut up. I don't know. Oh, can he give Fuck. you references for little boys? No, little girls. For little. <laughs> <laughs> That's not better. It's not better, but it's not worse. So this is an interesting mechanic here. You you have your your whole press yourself up against the wall, which granted I'm pressing myself up against that, but you have this press up against the wall mechanic, and you have to hold down a button to do it, and you can't move when you do it. Okay, so he finally goes down. Yeah. Jesus Christ. There's a man's ass. Thank you. Now get him. Come on. Did you see the way his legs landed? Yeah, they... <laughs> he landed funny. So I know there's prisoners in this area, so I need to I need to back off on the Fultoning. And no, you you're saying you can I can back off on the Fultoning? That is absolutely not the case. In this game, Fulton everybody all the time. Huh. All the time. Because there, there's no downside to it. In fact it, it only benefits you ever. So to Fulton wait. tons of dudes. So, do you, like, run out of room or something, or...? You kind of do, and that's part of the reason the waiting room is there. However, if you run out of room, basically what'll happen is when you auto-assign dudes, it'll kick out the worst dudes and put in the best dudes. Oh, okay. I was wondering about that. Let's see, is there another dude up here? Is there you got Sean a couple or... weeks ago, but he's fucking shit at research and development, and now you got this guy, Johnny, who's... The fucking ace of spades for research and development. What happens to fucking Sean? No, they knew Sean goes away. Does he get like Sean released gets gone from the PMC? Good. Say what? Yeah, he gets kicked out. Oh damn! It's the same. That's... It's the same thing in V. Oh. And I'm pretty sure it's the same thing in. Uh... Did they get like severance pay and shit like that? No, they. I don't know. <laughs> Miller takes care of that shit. Cause God damn it, Sean's got a family to take care of. God damn. I saw the most awesome thing, cause in in uh, in the Phantom Pain, in the Phantom mm. Pain, you pick up like, what's the Oops. fucking word I'm looking for? In the Phantom Animals. Pain, you pick up like weird Goats. posters and stuff like that. Uh huh. Um, you can Fulton animals and stuff like that. And I saw this funny, I think it was a comic or something like that. I can't quite remember. But basically it was Miller calling Snake and saying, Snake, you've sent us like a thousand goats. I don't know what the fuck to do with these goats. And then Snake is silent the whole time. And Miller's like, Snake, what the fuck? And Snake goes, have you put up my anime posters yet? Because oh <laughs> he's grabbing like anime posters of Paz out of the fucking, out of the world. Oh, okay. And it's really funny. I probably have to see this comic because uh, you're doing it no justice. I sh I'm sure I'm doing it no justice. I'm terrible at talking about things. All right. So I'm looking <laughs> right. around here, and I'll run through all these again off screen to make sure I didn't miss anything. Because you yep. want to make sure you... Ooh, he's still up. Where did you come from, bro? Free J. Shot you in the stomach. Shoot him in the balls. Look at him shaking. He's so scared. So oh, right in the scared. butt. It's just a little pinch. It's just seven inches of pinch. Uh. 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 Oh, yeah. I think you climax. I'm, oh, sh shut up. <laughs> hey, look, there's a prisoner down there. Yeah. So I know there's like one or two more dudes in the area, but I don't remember where they are. Uh -huh. So I'm going to haphazardly drop down here. I could equip my fucking surround sound indicator and use that doesn't that require batteries uh no not in this one. Oh. so what do you think they're gonna do with the next uh are they gonna make another fucking metal gear um yes konami is planning on making another metal gear but i'm not interested because it's not 
Uh, Hideo Ko- Kojima. It's not a Kojima joint, mm. to coin a phrase there. Because they're going to bastard it up. Okay, do you remember the license plate of that truck? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Uh, shit, wait, that's not this mission. But it will be soon. Because i got to go in here, and then shit's going to happen. Going into the beast, brother. Brother. So, in all of these main missions, or a good amount of these main missions, the Donkis! I'm inside the facility. Donkey! Donkey! <laughs> Fucking Shrek. That's where they brought the nukes. The That's where they brought the nukes, and the truck there. we're after should be there. Okay, so I can actually look at these trucks, and I can look at the... The thing. And you said you remembered which one it was? That one right there. You missed it. 64779. 140.96. Oh, that's oh. funny. Isn't that a fucking. That's um, the sa- That's the save thing from all the other ones. Which one? There. This one? That one. That one. That one. Let's do it. You're a fucking lawyer. Oh, wait. Nope. This is it. This is yeah, the one. Fuck you. Cargo. Bitch. Shut up. We found the nukies. Nuki, nuki. Tap, 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 tap. So what happens if you get the wrong one? Um, I think you just have to keep looking, or it makes hard to look. Hey, look, there's a man. Uh, if you could hear the voice, you would recognize the voice. Steve Bloom. No. No. Yuri Lowenthal. Does love bloom on a battlefield? Who is that? Oh! Oh! Don't, don't say it! Shut up! But these two characters that we're meeting now are important. First, you must have nuclear weapons. Is this the only part of the story that's canon? You must never use them first. This whole game's canon is shit. Including the J-pop and the Vocaloids. Oh, yeah. What? Did you just ruin that? You son of a bitch. No, I don't. I didn't really ruin anything. So they're talking about nuclear deterrent with all the nukes they have. Mm-hmm. The only way to do that is to show them that we're capable of actually launching a nuke. Interesting. Basically, they're saying, look, we're going to show people we're not bluffing. I won't let you use my creation like that. My creation. Oh, look. Oh. What are you going to do to wheelchair man that's precariously placed at the top of the stairs? Also, look at this bald fuck. This fucking looks like a douchebag. Oh, he's pushing him backwards! Oh, no. He's going back really, really far. So notice they're talking about the bipedal locomotion. They're talking about the Metal Gear specs that the fucking Granin sent to the dudes in his America. So that's the dude in America that got sent the specs. Oh. I hope that wasn't... Oh. Oh. It's not what you think it is. Stop that. What are you fucking doing? Nothing. Stop it. <laughs> That's grizzle gross. <laughs> oh no. He's so sad. We used each other. I'll, get my, each other. I'll get my old director's job back at headquarters. <laughs> You'll finally be able to walk tall amongst your colleagues, really. Oh, what an asshole. I won't let you got polio, right? I don't remember. I think they explain it here. Oh, shit! No! What Does he fuck? have a peace and dragon tattoo in his, on his back of his head? Yeah. Oh, no! His legs are broken! He'll never be able to walk again. He'll never be able to walk tall amongst his colleagues again. Oh, wait. Uh-oh. So the whole V in victory. Hey, his name is Coldman. His name is Hot Coldman. How typical. Wait. He's just a bald CIA dude. He's Back the, that bus. Except for his ideas and shit, okay. he's the blandest Don't motherfucker ever. Snap out of it. Where are the nukes? Where are the nukes? He's gonna do it. He's gonna he's launch gonna a it. nuke. He's gonna launch a nuke. Um. What's happening? 
Whoosh. Can you explain what's happening? Because he's hiding. Does this thing still work? Yeah, he's still walking on his little wheelchair thing. You mean riding on his wheelchair thing? I think it has a little thing that allows him to walk upstairs on it, too. Oh, neat. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh it's Lord. Peace Walker, Texas Ranger. Huh. Look at how grumpy he huh. looks. He's so grump. Look at this fucking thing right here. Holy shit. There's Peace Walker. Actually, if I remember correctly, that's only part of Peace Walker. Oh, really? But look at that. It's another giant bipedal thing designed to launch a nuclear weapon like the Shagohod. Oh! oh God. Speaking of the Shagohod, here's a Shagohod clone. We got time to do this in this episode? Fuck yeah, we got time to do this in this episode. Look, look at this up. crazy boss battle shit right here. This fucking anime bullshit. Look at this anime bullshit, and we can't hear it right now, but it's singing at us, and it's gonna be singing at us the entire time we fucking fight it. And I know... Ooh, whose voice it is. You're gonna... It's not Hatsune Miku. Yeah, I know it's not Hatsune Miku, but it's a clone of Earth. It's a clone of Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku doesn't exist! It's 1974! This is so... the originator. Huh? This is Hatsune Miku's great... Tentacle produce Gram Am. Gram Am? Gram Gram. Gra Ooh, hey, what? we completed another mission. Woo. Woo, woo what do you think woo. we got? We got an A for ass. For I also didn't Fulton everybody. I awarded a new insignia, Headshot Master. Beep, beep, beep. Completing over 100 headshots. Heroism increases. Increases. Prisoners ah. extracted. M1928. You get a Tommy gun in this game. Mm, I believe it. It's great. The, the variety of weapons you get in this game is actually really super cool. Mm. You get different Which... shotguns, different submachine guns, different assault rifles, all sorts of different stuff. So um, we're going to actually soldier. have that little boss battle in this episode. That'll be a nice way to end up or finish the boss battle. But yes. uh, we're going to take care of some shit here. Fuck. Because there's a lot of shit going on. Staff yeah. morale is falling. What's our food at? 88%. Oh, shit, because we have more dudes. Well, the more dudes they get auto-assigned to the fucking thing, the better it is. Twin barrel shotgun. Walkman. Oh, yeah, you can play music when you when you do the thing. And our GMP is almost back to where it needs to be, which is good news. All right, so, yes, insufficient, I know. Um, R&D. We can't really develop anything right now, unfortunately, because we're out of money. I done fucked that one up, eh? Hey. What was I gonna do? What was I gonna do? I was gonna do fucking something. Something with the food. Fuck it. We're having the Guys. boss fight. Shit. We're gonna fight a man. Dude's anus. Stop that. <laughs> you donkey. I've never seen anything like that, seen anything no like that and I've no idea how to bring it down. <laughs> Maybe the scientist knows. However you do it. Go fuck yourself. Okay. Ugh. So enough stupid talky talk. Um, mm -hmm. Let's That's switch action, back action. over to our um, explosive weapons here. Yes. And uh, go <coughs> to the fucking boss fight. So. Boss uh, fight. Yeah. So there's just mecha all over the fucking place here. And if I remember correctly, except for Metal Gear Solid 4, this is the only game to have more than one mecha. Now, don't get... That's not... It's not... Spoiler! It's not a Metal Gear. It's a no. mech. This? Yes. So what's the difference between a Metal Gear and a mech? A Metal Gear is called a Metal Gear. And it walks. This thing clearly does not walk. So is the Shagohod a Metal Gear? The okay. Shagohod is not a... Fuck you. Shagohod is not a Metal Gear. Alright, so the interesting thing about these boss battles, and, and it, it comes into effect later when you have to... Oh, good, I did get it. When you have to grind out um, some shit, is... Um, you can damage you can damage different parts of this. So see how it has... This is basically the Shagohod, by the way. It's a teeny tiny version of the Shagohod. Look, it's got the rockets on the side. Oh, shit. Of course it would move the moment I pulled the trigger. Oh! Oh! 
God. So you it's can stuck. damage different it's... parts of it, and you can you can disable it from doing uh, different things. Uh, uh -huh. So you can you can disable its ability to run around. See, so I already I blew up the thing there. What are you gonna do and now? now? It's now it's uh, now it's stuck there. So we're actually gonna stick some C4 to it. <laughs> oh God! Oh God! Oh God! What have you done? Oh Jesus! Okay, well we're gonna have to remember that's there. Go over it! Go over it! No, you shit! Shitting fart stick! Come on! Yes! Here it comes. That's what I want! Yeah! Oh, and it stopped it dead in its tracks. That went pretty well. But if you notice, I've already gone through almost all my explosive ammunition here. So it has an electroshock uh, weapon. And then you're supposed to take them out, but that's that's hard. Let's use a rifle. Uh, I don't have a rifle. I only have explosive oh. weapons because that's the only way you can damage this. But notice I've gone through all my explosives. And I've only I've only taken out. Um, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. 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 Oh! It slapped me. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay, so yeah, I've run through all my stuff, so I have to use these supply markers to call in uh, boxes with reinforcements. Or resupplies. Yes, that is the correct word. I used oh, the wrong God. word the first time. Yeah, he's not. Oh. Oh. I've been shicked. You have been the shukatajadid. So taking out that thing will probably be smart. Baboom! If I can manage to. Oh no, it went through a little thing. There will be some warning signs when it comes out. It'll probably be audio. But, but... Uh, you know, we can't hear anything with this goddamn setup, so we're just gonna just hang out here. But right now, it is probably humming to you with Miku Hatsune's voice. It's, there it is. Oh! Oh god! There we go. I keep hitting the treads on the damn thing instead of the actual, actual gun or the shock cannon or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Because that's what I'm trying to take out. That thing is annoying. Oh! Oh, it's moving again. Oh! Oh, Jeebus. Dice Sabusus. Oh, duck, no! Duck! Duck! Goose! You know you. You know you can uh, go prone and avoid it, right? You can't go prone in this game. What? Remember? We had this Are discussion. You Are you sure? Yes. Ah! Jesus. This guy's already killed me many times over. I need to get out another supply marker as quickly as possible. Though I could be using grenades at this point. Oh, oh that didn't oh, help. Shit. You're standing right next to a shock thingy. I am. Hey, that was close enough to hit him. That's good. That's good. Good things are happening. It's great. Man, am I going to be able to... Oh. Nope. I'm going to take the hit. So these fights are long and drawn out, and they're good fights, but holy shit, are they some knockdown, drag out mess? Damn! Didn't leave it enough. I, I, I was like... A, a smidgen away. I was a coont hair away. Coont? Coont. Kuntin hoondin. Are you just gonna keep driving around in circles? Oh, it's because I didn't take out his other rocket thing. You wouldn't be able to do this if I had... Oh. Take it out, take it out, take it out. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I'm much happier with taking out his uh, shock weapon. Agreed. But boy, Viable is this strategy. thing agile. For a fucking big ass tank, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. The good news is, a couple more supply markers and I should be good. Don't do it. Oh! <laughs> oh! Put down the supply marker now. Go, 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 go. You're right. This is as good a time as any. So it fucking comes out and <laughs> fucking. <laughs> no time like the present. It, it cross lines you. Song. Oh, oh there God, it is! There it is! It's coming to rape me. 
Um, you can level up the supply markers you get later on, and it makes it... Oh, he's shooting me. Oh, how funny. Big boss is impervious to, to gunfire. Oh, he's gonna slap me! Run away! One more to do it! Yeah! Okay, now I have to climb into the AI pod. So this is another thing I want to talk about. There's working AI in this motherfucker. It's 1974, and there's working artificial intelligence. That hole isn't big enough for him. Your hole isn't big enough for him. Probably. But okay, so look at this. I'm inside of an AI pod. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to start taking the computers. You're basically ripping it apart from the inside. But this is where the game... This is where the game got weird for a lot of people, is this whole fucking... This whole section where it's like... Half the game is dealing with AI. Because it's like, isn't this 1974? Like, a lot of people couldn't just put it to the side and just enjoy the gameplay. So it kind of yeah. kind of made the, the game a little bit more tough for them. Now, these different modules, depending on what you attack and damage... Um, depending on what you attack and damage, you can actually um, unlock more of those and use them. So, uh, later in the game, for reasons I won't talk about right now, becomes grinding to the point that uh, you need a bunch of these boards for stuff. And then you okay. use the boards for stuff. And I won't explain what the stuff is, but now we have to sit here for ten more seconds because I've already grabbed all the ones that I've damaged so far. When you get higher level weapons and stuff like that later on, it becomes a lot easier. Um, but in order to actually beat the game, you have to actually um, collect a fair amount of these from boss battles that you encounter later in the game. Okay. So um, that's it. Yeah, so we beat it. Noise zone that things are being disconnected. Oh, postpone that shit, man. Did that pod just seriously eject? You can see the screen, right? Yeah, I can see the screen, oh. but did that fucking thing just take off? Yes, it did just take off, because that's also capable in this happen world that was an unmanned man weapon. i had to step away to Control fix something but here we go here. we're gonna get a little bit of an explanation as huey rolls his ass to. down the stairs well, used to, anyway. i'm not kidding Name's oh huey. i said his name before his name was in the thing whoops christopher randolph look at that that's cool though and who might you be? he built himself that you thing like one of those mercenaries. Mm. you don't look like one of those mercenaries i'm, uh, I'm an entomologist, entomologist. Fuck you. Fighting entomologist? Yeah, I Fighting see. entomologist. Here to catch Ulysses. <laughs> <laughs> this is weird. This is dumb. God damn it, Kojima. Just give us normal Morphos, shit. That's it. Damn it. Oh, really? Oh, really? With the fucking AI in the 70s. Normal shit? Yeah, sure. It's well, fuck yourself. You sure you're feeling oh. <laughs> anyway, just Long story, uh, long oh, shit. story short, the butterfly got away. So how about it, Doc? Did you make that big butterfly? Did you make that big butterfly too? Uh, yes. A very <laughs> interesting first interaction between these two. Oh, what's that thing? Um, because this Huey character here is actually extremely important to the story. Um, mm -hmm. and that will be explained later on. A lot of the stuff that has to do with him and Big Boss here. Um, is he vaping right now? Maybe. Something like that. That's right. But um, a lot of the interactions between him, a lot of the things that Huey does sets up or sets the stage for a lot of games. Uh, a lot of the later games, I should say. And it's actually really interesting to see how they treat him in, as a character in uh, Phantom Pain. But uh, here he's based, he's mostly support and. That's kind of giving away the fact that he joins up with you. But everybody joins up with you in this damn game. Damn near. So, is he like... Did you like capture him? Or? You, you don't capture him. He just says, hey, I'm going to come work for you guys. You guys seem alright. Huh. So, look. So there's Chrysalis, Cocoon, and Poopa. Yes. And we just blew up the Poopa. Oh, I can look around at stuff. Um, blew up the Poopa. What do I get to look at here? I see him. What's over here? Is there anything over here? There's a there's a, a 
The right trigger. Oh. I pulled the right trigger. Did you notice the the robot with the hand there on the right? Yes. Interesting. The fuck is that for? So it's some sort of hero voting? back at the height of the Cold War. The if I remember correctly, um, there's some debate as to who and what the fuck is going on. But if I remember correctly, Hot Coldman is the person that designed the uh, Operation Snake Eater. Huh? Yeah. He designed the mission? Yeah, he's the guy that said, okay, we need to send the boss to go in to do this thing. Oh shit, Vulcan launched a nuke. So here's what we gotta do. We gotta kill the boss, but this shit's gonna go down this way and we're gonna send that guy in to do it. The problem is the locomotion so Big Boss isn't actually There's an no evil guy. He's just trying to get revenge. No, that... No. We don't even... He doesn't know that. Like oh. I said, there's some debate that Hot Coldman is even the guy that, that did that. Oh. Like, some people even... Ow, my ears. Some people even speculate that Ocelot designed that whole thing. But I like the idea that Hot Coldman was the person who came up with the idea for uh, Snake Eater. Mm. And more importantly, the boss's role throughout the entire thing. Because basically, that entire thing was, we need to get, we need to get the philosopher's legacy. We need to get all that damn money. It's su right. it's super important that we get that money. Oh, this that was fucking a shit psychopath. ton of money too. Yeah. Oh, that psychopath launched a nuke. Well, we're fucked. But they'd actually need to deploy dozens of them. Coldman needs funding for that, hmm. and to get it, he's planning a test. So here's the story of what the fuck's going on in Peace Walker. Okay. Launch a nuke using this AI deterrent. Because the whole idea, the whole idea of behind Peace Walker as a deterrent is is the idea that no sane person is actually going to fire a nuclear weapon, right? Right. Nobody's actually like even as a deterrent, nobody's gonna fire, or even as retaliation, nobody's gonna fire a nuclear weapon. Um, there are several several cases of uh, like Russian commanders, sub commanders getting uh, false positives of American nuclear launches during the Cold War and flat out refusing to launch their nuclear weapons on on a, a, a ethic from an ethical uh, standpoint, moral standpoint. Mm -hmm. So basically, what that means is that if those had been real nukes, there would have been there would have been no retaliation by Russia. Russia would have just gotten nuked. But the biggest flaw in the theory is that the decision to retaliate. So like this animation right here. So the his fingers. Yeah. So the idea here is actually a really interesting idea. Is that take the take the control out of the hands of people, put it in the hands of of an artificial intelligence. So then we link cold calculating machine basically Bingo. And, hmm. and it is an interesting idea um, and we'll see how that plays out throughout the course of this game to be unmanned. with peace walker retaliation is certain see retaliation is certain with peace walker it's interesting that they show peace walker with only two legs um, i'm going to stop talking oh so it has more than two legs it's got a big third leg dangling between the other two. God damn! You know what he uses that other leg for? Sex. Peace walking. Peace walking with your mom. Ah, oh, it's so oh, stupid. Night long. Welcome to Bad Mom Joke Simulator 2016. So the interesting thing about this is this isn't just supposed to be an American weapon. This nuclear, this 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 nuclear deterrent system will launch a weapon at the Cold War. Or the fuck me. The Cold War. Yeah, the whole entire war. God damn it. No, this nuclear weapon, this deterrent, will launch a nuclear missile at the United States or Russia. Or Russia. Or Russia. Or China. So yeah, anybody who's nuclear capable. Hmm. So Huey was born unable to walk. Okay. And Huey's dad, uh, Huey was born uh, the day that Hiroshima exploded. A. Huey's dad was part of the Manhattan Project. Uh -huh. So Huey's kind of faded to nukes. 
The final test is five days from now. Huh. One way or another. You're gonna stop them? <laughs> Damn, this it's is a long a fucking cutscene. Right? And besides, there's a Deal with it, ass. The Fuck you off, see, ass. We are actually almost at 40 minutes yet. here, so shit. What do you mean? Fuck. Donkey. Missing one last Donkey! Donkey! <laughs> 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 fuck you. AI. God fucking damn it. Ah. Uh, so basically, this thing needs to be the reptile pod. Oh, the AI pod? Yeah, it's called the reptile pod. Or at least that was Huey's one, so somebody's making a different one. Probably. Shit. It needs hmm. something to analyze the huge volumes of data coming in and select This is a really interesting Kojima for for all his weird anime and flaws and coming out with really out there ideas for more anime flaws his, are weird fuck his you. stories he, he, he comes he has some pretty Similar interesting ideas but its role is yep. completely different Model on the human brain similar to the burbiter an AI expert named Dr. Dr. Strangelove, Strangelove. Huh. What's that from? Doctor Strangelove. Doctor, isn't that a fucking 007 reference? No. Google it if you don't know what it is, because I'm not gonna tell you. Well, God, fuck, hey, damn it! Yep. Deal with it. She hates everybody. Here comes the typing. Do it. Type long and type hard. Yeah. I'll lend you my ID card. It'll get you through security at the lab. So this is oh, cool. He's to decided to help you. He doesn't like the oh. idea. Oh! Letter of recommendation. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, um, yeah. Uh, it's from that me, makes sense. Dr. No Steve. kidding. Don't read, it, okay? Don't read this love letter I wrote to Dr. Strangelove, but can you deliver it for me? Please? I'm done with science. I'm done with science. At this rate, I'm probably already halfway to hell. Is that what he said? I was too busy reading this. Yes. Less wow. true words have ever been spoken. Our places mm -hmm. outer heaven. Our places outer heaven. Outer heaven? Outer heaven? I'm probably yeah. better suited to something like that than this paradise. <laughs> you get a free balloon. So cool. Enjoy it. Kojima is setting up the dominoes for all the shit that happens later on in the game or in the games. So for the people who don't know, do you want me to explain what the Doctor Strange Love is? Yeah, just in in less than three sentences. <laughs> it's a film about what would happen if the wrong person pushed the wrong button uh, for the nukes, right? Yeah. And uh, so this like some guy goes crazy, some U.S. Air Force general goes crazy, completely insane, and sends his bomber wing to destroy the USSR. Oh shit! See, right. so we were talking about the naming themes in this. Very appropriate. Huey Emmerich is the only one so far who's like, that doesn't really have anything to do with anything. Mm. Hey, we beat the missions. Yay. America. Fuck yeah. Thanks for bearing with us through that cutscene. We'll catch you fuckers next time. Fuckers. Bye.